FBI, Mom on Pluto One. We have a healthy spacecraft. We've recorded data of the Pluto system, and we're outbound for Pluto. NASA scientists completed a historic mission Tuesday when the New Horizons spacecraft reached the climax of its epic encounter with Pluto, culminating a nine-year voyage across three billion miles to reach the unexplored dwarf planet. Another milestone for NASA, women make up 25% of the New Horizons flyby team. Women like Yanping Guo configured the entire trajectory of the mission, including the Jupiter and Pluto flybys and Mission Operations Manager Alice Bowman handles spacecraft commands and personally reads every line of code before it is sent to New Horizons. The first thing that we do is we have to establish the handshake between the ground system and the spacecraft. And so when I was talking about carrier lock, that's the first step. And then we had symbol lock, that's the second step. And then the third step is to get that telemetry or data online into the Mission Operations Center. And that was when uh, when we called that we had the telemetry in lock and online. The strong showing of women in the NASA mission comes at a time when negative attitudes toward women in science have also been making news. Just weeks ago, Nobel laureate Tim Hunt made controversial statements at a conference about the trouble with women working in laboratories. His statements ignited a furor on social media and kicked off a barrage of humorous tweets from women scientists around the world with the hashtag distractingly sexy. The backlash against Sir Hunt, who was knighted in 2006, caused him to resign from his honorary professorship at University College London. For her part, Alice Bowman from the Applied Physics Lab says it's time to move past gender. My hope is that we have a gender-free environment and that we are giving, given jobs that we excel at, um, irrespective of our gender or our age.